Um, so today we're going to um, celebrate PNRI. We've been with them ever since their first year, um, 2004. It was at Newcastle and it was a beautiful setting and uh, we were one of their wineries then and have been every year since then. Um, so the wines that we chose for um, the tasting is our first one will be our Sauvignon Blanc. It's 100% Sauvignon Blanc. Um, we've been making this for about three years now. Um, it's kind of interesting how we pick the grapes for this wine. We do two different pickings. So the first picking is kind of a um, tropical fruit picking, and then we let it sit for a while, and then it turns into more of a zesty. And then they have these two batches that they can create and make it into the type of wine that we want to um, put into the bottle. And so this is 100%, um, like I said, it is mainly stainless steel. It has a little bit of neutral oak, but it has 10% of the cement egg. And some of you may have heard of the cement egg. Um, we have two of the little guys. Um, they're pretty cool. They, um, they're forever, so they're not like a barrel. And they give a texture. I mean, it gives you texture in your mouthfeel, um, different than a barrel, because the barrel you get the oak, and this one is just more texture. So this is a screw cap, which makes it really handy, especially when you're on the patio and you wanna have a glass of wine. We only do three bottles that have screw caps. Our three-legged red has a screw cap and our rosé and our four-legged white. So usually we are a cork. Um, this is a real crisp, clean, um, I'll show you the bottle again, crisp, clean bottle of um, Sauvignon Blanc. That I'll just say it's really bright. It has um, pineapple. Um, it has uh, some gooseberry. Because my grandma had a gooseberry patch when I was little, so I always think of her gooseberries when I, when I taste this and it's just crisp and clean. So I think you will really enjoy the, the color is just delightful, um, clear. Has a lovely, um, not really floral, it's just that pineapple comes out. So that's our Sauvignon Blanc. I might have this later. So this is our Tritina. It's a Bordeaux blend, has a black label. Um, it's very soft, it's very smooth, it's very balanced. Um, we called it Tritina because you hear of cuvées or meritage, and we didn't want to use one of those words. So my husband um, was going through the Latin dictionary, those little tiny ones, they're about that thick, and he found this word, Tritina, and it meant balance in Latin. So um, we trademarked it, and so that is now our word. Um, but this wine is... Um, like I said, very balanced, it usually has four varietals. It, this is mainly uh, Merlot, 54 Merlot, and then um, Cabernet is like 46% Cabernet, and then has a little bit of Petit Verdot and a little bit of Cab Franc um, to give it the balancedness. So we buy from different vineyards for this wine to get those different varietals. And this is all from Columbia Valley, since we buy from different vineyards. I'll start fresh here. So this wine is um, a beautiful, soft. Um, I, I'll have people that come in and, and they don't really care for red wine. And they'll try this wine and they love it just because it's so soft and smooth um, and balanced. Great nose. Lots of berry, lots of cola, and the color is delightful. Um, see if I can... A little bit of herby, a little bit of fruit. Um, comes from like four different vineyards that we buy from, so we have a great diverse selection. And we do do the blendings for this wine. Um, we probably do about 6,000 cases of this, so it's, it's quite a process as we go through the blending trials because when people see our Tratina, they say, oh, I love Tratina. Well, you know, every year is different because different varietals, different percentages of the varietals, different vineyards. So we go through tasting trials to make sure we're really consistent. So when you do see a Dunham Tratina, it is as close as we can be because, you know, the weather each year makes a huge difference. So this way, um, there aren't any surprises. Um, it's, it's, uh, the consistency is very important to us in all of our wine. 
So being this year, um, as our 25th anniversary, we had a lot of special things planned and it kind of all came to a halt for three months. As of today, which is the 30th of July, we could only pour outside. And so that it was kind of tough because today was our hottest day of the year at 106, 108. It is a dry heat, even though an oven is a dry heat. <laughs> Enjoy.